I'm Alexander Nava. Today we're going to be taking a look at what's inside my photo bag and what I carry with me to all my photo and video gigs. Now if you guys do see anything that you'd like in this video, please check the description down below. I'm going to include Amazon links to everything. With that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So first we're going to be taking a look at the bag itself. Now this is a Airport Advantage by Think Tank. This has been great to me. This is the first real photo bag that I've bought since I upgraded from like a little one camera, one lens bag. Uh, now, the best feature about this is that it has roller wheels and an extendable handle. Now this is great for carrying around airport terminals. I know some of the big airports can be really long walks, especially like O'Hare where we're from uh, in Milwaukee. So that is a great feature to have. One of the other cool features is these side straps. Now here I put in a small portable tripod here and strap it on. Anything that's long basically that doesn't fit inside the bag, like a tripod or monopod would fit here. Now on the top of the bag, there is a section to put in a business card. I went ahead and just made something in Word with my information, printed out a piece of paper and stuck it right in the top so that if it ever gets lost, uh, they can know who to contact to get this back to me. On the top of the bag, you do have this section where you can put in a computer. Now this fits my MacBook Pro perfectly and I can even throw in something like an iPad on top. Just make sure you give them cases so they don't get scratched up. Before we get into the bag, I do wanna talk about what I'm shooting on. Now currently I am shooting with the Sony a7 Mark III. This is my main camera body for video and photo work currently. And I did get that uh, body probably about six or seven months ago. Uh, I did transition over from an all Nikon system. So I'm slowly building my Sony collection of lenses. The lens that's currently on there is the Sony 24 to 70 2.8G Master lens. Now this is an amazing lens that you can pick up and it's very sharp. I use this for events such as weddings, corporate events, uh, and just parties. And it works great. It has the 24 to 70 range, which is amazing for those kinds of events. The other thing I keep in this bag is what's currently recording the audio right now, which is the Rode Video Micro. Now this is a compact little mic, but it works amazing. Uh, now it does come with the little Lyra shock bound. I'll go ahead and show that to you guys. It's great for running and gunning and it's compact enough to fit in my bag. Now let's go ahead and open my bag and see what we have inside. So the first thing that pops out at me is this SD card holder from Think Tank. This is a Pixel Pocket Rocket. Now, when you open it, it holds all the SD cards that I need to shoot any video and photo. And I love these little pouches because they're easy to organize. When I use an SD card, I flip it uh, logo in, and when an SD card is empty and ready for use, I leave it logo out. Uh, and then you can organize them differently on the bottom or in the top, however you'd like. It's just my own system that I use. And when you fold this up, it's nice and compact. And I just let it dangle, but you can easily put it on the side pockets if you'd like. The second Sony lens that I own is the kit that came with the a7 III, uh, which is the 20 to 70, 3.5 to 5.6. Now, the reason I bought my camera with the kit is because since I was transitioning from the Nikon system, I didn't have any lenses. So I figured, you know, throw in the extra $200 and pick up the kit lens uh, so that I had something to start with, to learn the system with, and then pick up the lenses along the way. Next lens I have in my bag is this Sony 50mm 1.8 Prime lens. Now this is an amazing lens for beginners. It's at an affordable price point. So if you can't afford any of the big G Master lenses uh, with the variables, you know, with the constant aperture, uh, these are great to pick up. And I definitely recommend that you start with one of these. So the next thing I have in here is more for personal travel, but this is my DJI Osmo Mobile 2. Uh, so I put in my Note 9 on here and it barely fits the Note 9. The Note 9 is probably the largest phone you can fit in here without a counterweight and it has to have no case. But this is great for when I don't wanna bring, you know, the Ronin S out uh, and I just wanna get some steady video shots on my phone when I'm on vacation. But I always keep it with me because you never know when you can use it. The next item I have is a wireless lab mic system. This is the Asden WR Pro uh, wireless mic system. 
and it's the first mic system I had when I was doing documentaries back in college. I don't really use it much anymore since I've gotten the shotgun mic, but it does still work. It just requires a lot of post-processing to get the audio to where you want it to be, but I still keep it with me just as a backup. Now, one of the other things I keep with me is a spare battery for my camera. Now, if you are buying the genuine Sony batteries, they are a little expensive, but they work fabulous. Um, and I always keep this with me because you never know when you run out of juice. The other thing I keep with me is this four terabyte hard drive. Now, I keep this with me just in case I overload my SD cards uh, so I can quickly dump them out of here from my MacBook. I can plug it up, I can dump the footage or the photos, and then I can go ahead empty those out and start filming again. I also keep with me this Rocket Air. Now this is very helpful for blowing up dust out of lenses and sensors just like so. So you would just open it up, take this and you can blow out any dust that might get into your lens. Now I try never to touch the front element and never to clean it if I need to. Um, if I do, I use a clean microfiber cloth that's made for lenses. I don't use the same one that I use on my glasses because you don't want to be smearing oils all over your lens. That can really damage the front element. Uh, but if I can get any dust off with just air, always works great. So always keep one of these on you. The other thing I keep with me is a USB-C cable. Now, I usually carry about two of these with me, but my phone charges on USB, my new Sony camera charges on USB-C, and there are just a lot of things that now use USB-C. So I always keep one of these cables with me. Another thing that lives in my camera bag is my transmitter for my Flashpoint systems. Now, this can trigger the big strobes down to any of the on-camera flashes. Uh, the Flashpoint system from Anorama, I believe it's also the Godox system, uh, works great and I definitely recommend it. Very responsive, very reliable. And if you guys do want to see any reviews on any of the flash points here of lights like the strobes or our camera flashes, please leave it in the comments down below. You know, maybe we can get our hands on a few in the studio. We can do a review and I can let you guys know my real thoughts. One of the cables that I keep in my camera bag is an adapter for my Rode Video Micro. Now this connects the Rode Video Micro to your phone. I believe it's called a TRS connection, I'm not sure. Uh, but it connects it to your phone so that you can use it as a microphone on any device with an auxiliary input. And the last thing I keep in my camera bag is this plastic little tripod. And I use this for my camera. I use it for the Osmo Mobile 2. It's just a little compact tripod if you don't want to carry around a big one and you want to just set it on a table, you know, set it on a flat, even surface. Uh, it's just made out of plastic, but it works great for that purpose. Thank you guys for checking out what was in my camera bag. If you guys saw anything that you'd like and you want to pick up, check the description. I've left Amazon links for everything down below. If you have any questions about my gear, leave us a comment. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. And if you like this video, give us a like and thank you for watching.